Oh, she hit my trap. See? It happens every fucking time. I knew it. Oh, I snagged another one over here. Oh, I got Leland. Oh, I'm telling you guys, I'm a beast hitchhiker. Camp Facer. What's going on campers? Camp Face here. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre in the game video. Today I'm going to show you guys how I play the hitchhiker. He's my main family member so far. I'm a beast of a hitchhiker, so watch out on the playing field, you guys. I'm going to show you guys how I play him, what kind of perks I run, how I do the skill tree a little bit, but I'm going to show you mostly the gameplay, the skill of how I use him out on the field and how to place traps and, and what I do. I know everybody out there has a different play style, but if you like what you see and how I play Hitchhiker, maybe it can help you guys. So give it a shot and yeah, let's get into it. So to start off, you guys, my hitchhiker is all based on endurance and stamina because he can go through gaps in the walls and crawl spaces. And when he finds a victim, I want to keep on the victim and don't lose line of sight. I'm like a snake in the grass. I'm going to keep pressure on the victims and I don't want to lose them. I'm going to gain, if anything, I'm going to gain speed through these gaps in the wall. This is what this build is all about. I know my savagery, my attack isn't going to be the greatest, but you're not going to need that with all the traps and the way you're going to sneak attack these victims. And at the same time, my, my hitchhiker, the way I play is I'm going to make sure that all the doors are locked at all times. And if somebody traps and, one, and if I snare somebody in one of my traps, I'm going to allow the family to see that with the perk I'm going to build on this hitchhiker, you guys. So let's get into this. So to start off, we're going to go into the perk level up tree for the perk, and we're going to go to the right hand side, increased damage. We're going to go to increases the damage amount uh, inflicted on a victim when snared by 13%. We're going to take the right side there, and then we're going to go up the middle to increased escape difficulty because we want to catch these guys and keep them in the trap as long as possible. We don't care how much damage is actually taken off even though it, it would be great but we're going to try to keep them there and highlighted so we can get all of the family and i could use my comms to say hey over there and they can also see where they're trapped and we could gang on them very fast we want to take them out quick with these traps you guys and like i said catch them off guard so we're going to go up the middle we're going to do the increased escape difficulty level two breaking free of traps is 28 percent more difficult for victims then after that, we're going to go upper left to all families see the noise. Level three, when a victim is snared, the activated trap is highlighted to all family members. So those three are very important. The first one being it does damage, obviously. The second one, it, you know, it keeps them in the trap for as long as possible. And then the most important one is to notify all family members where they're located. These three are going to be great for this park, you guys. Next, we're going to dive into the skill tree. Now, the skill tree, I go start off, I take an immediate right, and I work my way up the skill tree. I get my attrib attribute points. I kind of go down a little bit, get those, and I go back up and to the right but i stay the whole skill tree to the far right until we get up to here then i take a left because the ones on the right there don't matter all that much these ones on the left are a little more important they do more for your character for this particular build so get to the middle here and we go up the skill tree and we're going to go up and take a right from there and we're going to go up and you guys can go through all the skill, uh, the, the perks that you go and come across. I'm not going to read them off all to you guys right now. But this, if you do this, this is what my character has. And this is what's going to run a good, uh, fast, sneaky uh, hitchhiker, nubbins. And then we finally get to the far upper right where we uh, get done to the top of the skill trees all set and done. And we're going to do that. And then from there, we're going to get into some action, you guys. Okay, coming down to the attributes... You want to bring your savagery up to at least 37. And then your endurance uh, is pretty much 28. And your blood harvesting is at 25. So that's where I use my savagery. I bring that up as far as I can. That's where I get my attack up. Instead of using the attack 
in the skill tree or the perk tree. I, I use that for the endurance and stamina. So this is how you're going to build your character. And from here, we're going to get out on the field, and then I'm going to show you guys exactly how to place the traps, where to place the traps, where not to place the traps, and how to run the map, and how to be sneaky like a snake as he is. Now, you guys, on this map, I know all the maps are different. That's why I play different on each map. But this map, I start out at the slaughterhouse. I don't trap the generator because no matter what, they're going to get by that. It's, wa it's like wasting a trap. They're going to use a bone shard or they're going to just step in it and you're not going to get there on time anyways. So anyways, I'm just going to show you guys how I trap in here and the best way to play the traps. Obviously, I'm going to go through these two doors and lock them behind me to stall them out a little bit if they do get by us and get out over here. So once I get inside the playing field, within the walls of the slaughterhouse map, I'm going to play my three traps back and forth or whatever in this playing field. As long as these doors are locked, if you guys use a trap over at the battery, over outside the slaughterhouse, that's a waste of a trap too because if you're not over there, they're going to bypass the trap, whether stepping in it or use a bone shard, and it's going to waste your traps. So over here, we got the fuse box. Instead of putting it in front of the objective, I'm going to hide it in front of the objective and catch them off guard. That's the way you use these traps, you guys. You don't want to put them in plain sight. If they see the traps, they're going to go around them. You have to catch them off guard. Like right here, I'm putting in one in front of this gap that they always go in and out of this gap. They can't see it. They're going to go through the gap and bam, I'm going to snag them. And don't forget, they highlight to all the family members as well. And I have the perk on that keeps them in the trap a lot longer. So you, in, within, within these walls here, as long as all the doors are locked, that's where you want to keep these traps, you guys. But again, I stress again, don't put them in plain sight unless you absolutely have to in front of an objective. You want to keep them hidden. And they're going to be very caught off guard. Even if they have a bone shard on them, they didn't expect it. And then they're going to panic. And then you're going to run over and hopefully you or one of the family members can catch them before they get out of the trap. So you notice I'm going back and forth, checking the locks and the doors, uh, checking the bushes. Now here's a great one right here between these two gaps right here. There's not much room to go around it, but they're not going to see it. And this is a very high traffic area for victims. You guys will see in a minute, and I always catch them there. What is all the other Try to feed Grandpa as much as possible. But you don't want to burn too much time feeding Grandpa either. You can kind of tell the pace of the players right off the beginning, beginning of the match if they're going to be speed running or not. So you got to play it by ear. I always check this door to make sure this one's locked as well. Um, so... These two doors to the slaughterhouse, make sure they're locked. And I always check the uh, the fuse, and I check the door or two over near the uh, front battery, uh, where the bat. I'm mean, not the battery, the generator. Snagged another one. She's highlighted. Check that trap. It's still set. They didn't trigger that one off. If a trap does go off, I usually reset it. Unless they're in a party and they're talking to each other and they're going to tell each other where the traps are all set, you might want to move them. But in this case, it doesn't seem like that.
I snagged another one over there, and I think Johnny or Leatherface got him. Very effective. Let's, yep, see, I got to reset the trap. Got another one. Going to check on the fuse, and I find a little treat in the bushes. And if she didn't, she noticed she didn't step in the trap there, but if she... If I left her there long enough, no one saw her. She would, she could have stepped in the one in front of the fuse or the one on the right. It was a matter of time, but we got her. Uh, 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 now I'm going to show you a few the, more the, clips here. here the, the son of a bitch. After this here. one, we'll show you the gas station map. Ah, oh, fuck. Stupid yacht. Oh, she hit my trap. See? It happens every fucking time. I knew it. Got her. Every time the trap works there. Hell yeah. I know. Can't face it. Shut up and bra stop bragging. Oh, I snagged another one over here. See, it always works, man. I got Leland over here. Now, don't forget, you guys, I'm gaining on him because I have that perk. I have the stamina built up. Oh, I got Leland. Oh. He shut the door with me on the other side of the door in front of him. Oh. I'm telling you guys, I'm a beast hitchhiker. I was not lying. Before I show off the next clip, I want to say, you guys, each map does play different as a hitchhiker. If you're on the family house map, you got to watch out for the generator. It's such a small, compact map. If they get outside and turn that generator off, they're going to run right to the road, exit, and it's all done. Trap the generator, whether it's in the front of the map or near the barn. Uh, also check to make sure somebody at least is turning on that battery in the back, the car battery. If, if no one did, go turn it on real quick because there's another mission for you. But don't trap the battery. It's a waste of a trap. Just, just turn it on. Get in the house and go directly upstairs and find the fuse box and trap that and patrol the upstairs and downstairs and make sure they don't get that fuse uh, turned on because if they do... Victims love to do that. 85% of the time on those matches in the family house, and victims go upstairs and do the fuse. It's an easy getaway, so make sure that fuse is very well protected. So let's dive into the gas station map real quick, and I'll show you a little bit of uh, clips of how I play the gas station map. So you start off near the, the, the battery. you got to turn the battery on. Don't forget to turn the battery on. Pretty soon, that's not going to be a thing in the game. They're going to automatically turn on. But don't trap the battery here. It's a waste of a trap. Save the traps for the other side where it's more, a lot more going on and a lot more escape areas on the other side of the map. If they're going to come and undo the trap here, they're going to do it regardless. Okay, so this gate here and the one on the left, you want to make sure they're locked at all times. Try to use your comms with your, your teammates. Make sure you check up on these two. Make sure they're always locked. If they're not, you're going to have to have somebody go over there and check on the battery. 
that's what I'm doing over here. Well, turn back. See this gap right here? I'm going to trap this gap. I always trap this one gap. It's a high traffic area for victims to go through. Sometimes they start the animation on the other side of the gap, and then they might see the trap, but it's too late, and they hit it. It's a good spot to uh, slow the pace down of the victims, you guys. So I go over here. This is the second gate. You want to make sure that this one's locked. Back and forth. There's four gates at this section. The other two lead to the uh, gas station, which I'll show you in a minute. Right now, I'm going in to check on the, where the fuse box is. You always want to trap this fuse box because this objective here, if they undo the fuse box, it's all done. It's an easy escape. So you want to put a trap. Now, I know you can't hide this trap, but it, you just may as well just put it right in front of it to slow them down a little bit. Sometimes this uh, spawns outside, but in this case, it's in the house. Somebody around here has to catch him. I'm going to pause right here. I want to tell you guys this something right here. See where I'm going right now? I'm going to go. Th uh, this is a funny little story. I I'm going to trap or put a trap in some weeds in like this gap hall area between the two front gates. I always put it there because like I said, it's a high traffic area for victims to crouch through there or run from point A to point B without being seen from each gate. And usually I always catch somebody in there because they can't see the trap. It's hidden in the weeds and it's a narrow area. So they, they can't go left or right around that trap. So if they don't see it, they're going to hit it. Now, in this particular case, what happens here is kind of funny and mind-blowing to me. <laughs> because I go to put the trap in the spot I always do, and as I'm laying the trap down, about two seconds, maybe two, three seconds in, I then notice a victim crouched right next to me, and it kind of made me jump. I'm like, holy crap, they're not running. They're, they're, they, I think they thought that I didn't see them. You'll see here in a second. It's kind of funny. I'm checking this gate, make sure it's locked. There's a padlock on it from the, the cook, which is good. Here's my spot. Now I notice her as I'm doing it, just now. <laughs> and got her in the trap anyways. And she rage quit right now, disconnected. Sore loser. I reset the trap. Check that gate has a lock on it too. We're in good shape so far. Again, I like to comb the weeds, check the gaps, check up on certain things like uh, this trap. Obviously, you get notified if it goes off, but sometimes you just don't notice it on the screen. It's why I double check anyways. I'm going to go check on this gate. All it takes is one slip up. Oh. Got another one in the trap where I just fixed the other trap, you guys, where the other girl got snagged. My perk has him highlighted for the victim, uh, for the uh, other family members. Now Leatherface is on the run, and I think the cook's about to go on the run after her, too. So I'm going to let them... There he goes. I'm going to let them deal with that. I'm going to go reset the trap again. And I'm going to be on my way to backtrack a little bit towards the gates. And I'm sick of eating scraps. <laughs> I'm sick of eating scraps. Now, back here in this shed, there's a uh, ladder that they can get up from the basement right here. You could put a trap there, too. And the animation of them climbing out, they always hit it. I'm going to do it here in a few minutes. I'll show you guys. There's that one's all good. I think Leatherface notified me. There we go. Here's another one. <clears throat> and boom. Snared again. Very effective. Now, I think something happens here where he gets the option to pick him up and kill him kind of gets messed up. I don't see it on the screen. I think because he was in the gap. But he got up.
Checking on the uh, the fuse. Looks like it's still good. It's trapped still. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Now I'm playing with random randoms, by the way, you guys. But no, no, no one's talking. So that's why I decided to chime in every once in a while. And I want to let you guys know out there that they, the people that think that you can't play with randoms, it's impossible. It's not. You can definitely communicate in some shape or form. Even if it's just you on the mic, you can kind of like give the playing field to everybody. And maybe they'll listen to you. And it's going to be a lot harder than if you have a party, but you can do it. It is possible. We're holding our, our own on this one, as you can see. He's so conceited. <laughs> Checking that gate, still good. I'm gonna grab this trap and put it at the stair, the the ladder. Catch him off guard because now they they're thinking, oh, we all know where the traps are now. So I'm gonna move them around, you guys. You. You, the, the good I'm trapping the ladder in the shed. It's smart to like outsmart. Keep your eye on that if somebody gets snagged. Make them make them feel like uh, oh we we like they know it all. They know where to go and know where the roots are. But then throw them for, uh, for a loop. Catch them off guard. That's what this is all about. Being sneaky like a snake. Like I said. Sounds like Leatherface got her. Check this gate. Oh, look at that. Somebody had unlocked it. It was open. Now I got to patrol the front. Gate's open to the gas station. It takes a second for somebody to go through that front door over the here. The front door is still locked, though. So somebody might be in here. It looks like the cook has his padlock on there. We're in good shape. I'm going to patrol the weeds. There's a padlock on the front door, but the gate was open. So they're, they're probably hiding out somewhere. Notice how uh, the random is listening to me. He's coming over. He's uh, checking it out, backing me up. But you should never have more than two people at the same time in one location for too long because something could slip up. Like right now, one of those guys... I mean, that's my guess, them. maybe. They could be unlocked. Oh, uh, somebody got trapped uh, over at the, the ladder. Whoever's near the ladder to the shed, there's, they got snagged. Still locked. I I'm going to have to patrol the, the front door. So if you guys want, I'll stay over here near the front door if you go back and um, assist. Because for all I know... Leatherface, I'll stay, I'll stay over here. For all I know, somebody could be hiding in a spot that I didn't all check. Right. And as soon as yeah, I check those away, two gates and check the, the fuse box. It's inside the house. Go, they could go right away behind my back and unlock that door and they're gone. I keep combing through the same areas too because one time I played I went did that and then somebody had I must have missed them or they must have moved as I went to the other spot in the grass it's a little tedious but you gotta do what I'm doing if not you're gonna get like they're gonna troll you and they're gonna get out I mean they're trespassing on our property we can't let them escape you guys I think that's it. They disconnected. I think that we. Uh, <laughs> He's angry. GGs. 
and that's how you play a beast hitchhiker. I, you guys, like I said before, if you want to play like the way I'm playing here and you like what you see, try it out. Give it a shot. I know I'm not like everyone has like their own build, their own way of playing a character, their own play style. But if you're going to be a beast like Camp Facer, the best hitchhiker out there, this is what you guys need to do, okay? Give it a like, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. Are you impressed? Are you not impressed? Did I miss something? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Let's have a discussion. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next videos. And as always campers, stay out of the woods.